Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at why someone's ex is their ex. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. Because I could predict the entirety of the rest of my life and I didn't like it. I would have taken over the family bakery and spent every day waking up at 3 a.m. to make donuts. 9 a.m. would be the start time for sausages. Leave the bakery at 4 p.m. Deposit the daily sales before the bank closes. Drive home and eat the unsold sausages for dinner. Watch TV for 1.5 hours before falling asleep in a chair. Wake up at 3 a.m. Repeat forever. There was no joy in her father's eyes. Joy left years ago. Oh, that's tough. Bakeries, you have to wake up so early to like just prep everything to make sure everything's fresh. Tough, tough job. I mean, I'm pretty sure every job is tough in their own ways. Just reading this makes me tired already. <laughs> Only one and a half hours of like me time. That's sad. It was mutual after a couple big discussions. I wanted to travel. She didn't. I don't want to have children, and she did. I didn't want her screwing her ex, but she did. Gotta decide on what your deal breakers are, I guess. Discussions? That was a discussion? I don't want you hooking up with your ex. And then she's like, but I do. That's a discussion. <laughs> That's more like an argument, no? I'm kind of confused. Like, did they sit down and talk about it, you know? Like, what do you want, right? And then she's like, I want to hook up with my ex. And then he's like, well, I don't want you to. Wait, what? She got sick of being taken for granted and dealing with the effects of my insecurities. <gasps> oh. Well, that's kind of sad. <laughs> this is too real. This is a bit too real. He had a sneeze fetish that he obsessed unhealthily over. In my sleep, he'd ball up cat hair and try to put it into my nose. I didn't know he was doing this to me until I had a nasty sinus infection and had my sinus flooded out at urgent care. Out came small balls of cat hair. The final straw was cheating on me with a girl who had a bigger nose than me. She was his ex and he just couldn't get over that nose despite the fact she was literally psychotic. I don't know what I'm reading. They were perfect for each other, not my loss, but my mistake ever trying to be tolerant and understanding of him. Huh? What did I just read? What? 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 Huh. So I guess there are all kinds of fetishes. A sneeze fetish? He would get turned on when someone sneezes or only if his partner sneezes. Wait, what is a sneeze fetish though? Is it actually obsessing over people sneezing or obsessing over the process of making someone sneeze because he put cat hair up her nose so did he get turned on by that or what faked a pregnancy when i tried to break up cheated multiple times oh, i hate reading stories about this like seriously just let the partner go like seriously What's so good about someone who doesn't want you anymore that you gotta do these kind of things, you know? Faking your pregnancy is not gonna do any good. Or like having a child with someone to keep you both together isn't gonna do anyone good, you know? Like why do some people think a child is gonna fix a relationship? That just makes me feel bad for the child. Because we were two different people in two different places in our life. Also, she had a nasty habit of banging my friends, but that's besides the point. That's besides the point. That's not why I broke up with her. That's besides the point. <laughs> we were just two different people. That's the reason. But your friends are also not your friends too if they know that that's your girlfriend and they're still hooking up with her. She didn't want to commit, but she didn't want to be alone. She liked to pretend that she didn't need my company and that life was a cabaret. But she did, and it wasn't really for her. Something in her was afraid of getting too close. I just got tired of it. Oh. Who hurt her? I feel like she's been hurt. And this is why, you know? Like, she's afraid of getting too close, and then she's afraid that they're going to break up or something, and she's going to be heartbroken again. And she doesn't want to go through that process again. I feel bad. I was just someone convenient for her. 
We were co-workers. We used to talk a lot and clicked when it came to sense of humor and goofing around. Quickly became good friends and then started dating. I was giving her genuine affection without an ulterior motive. Her family constantly put her down and was two-faced when it came to being nice. I was the counter to that. I was the escape. I finished my degree and moved with her four hours away. It was close enough to visit if we wanted, but too far for her family to drop by unannounced. We finally had a calm life away from the stress and strife that her family caused. Then after she had her calm life, she no longer needed her escape and couldn't ignore the fact that she never actually wanted me as a person. She only wanted what I represented, what I no longer needed to provide. So she started cheating on me with someone she was actually attracted to behind my back and his wife's back. Seven years gone. She just used him? And then after she got what she wanted, she just like threw him away. That's messed up. How could you do that to someone? Seven years of someone's life? Oh my gosh. So she knew what he could give her and she liked that, but she didn't like him whole as a person. That's really sad. Hey, Coles. I love you so much. You know, I never use you, okay? I love you so much. <laughs> My dog's just looking at me. <laughs> I love her so much. You wanna come and say hi? Oh, you wanna come and say hi? Coco, come! Okay, never mind. <laughs> she don't wanna say hi. That's crazy. <gasps> oh, jeez. <laughs> you scared me! That's crazy. My girlfriend was verbally abusive on a regular basis. She would also get physically abusive when she drank too much. She wasn't really strong enough to hurt me seriously, but when the person you love starts trying to suck upon you, it is really frustrating. I still miss her a lot. Some days she was wonderful and the sweetest person ever. Others she was bitter, angry, and would do anything to try to get a reaction out of me by insulting me. Started to become my insecure high school self after a while and had to give up. She dealt with a lot of really horrible abuse in her past and I didn't want to ever be the next abuser because of my own anger and frustration, so I had to let her go. Still miss her, still love her, wish things had been different. <gasps> That's actually sad. He still loves her. That's so weird though, you know, like some people can have like the best relationships and then something in them just changes or something and then it just all goes downhill. Like that's really sad. I realized I was gay once I saw the guys she was cheating on me with. Oh, oh, wow. He was like, oh, oh, he's actually fine, you know. <laughs> he didn't even get mad that she was cheating on him. Was he like, oh, introduce me to that guy that you're seeing right now? I was in the emergency room with kidney stones. Didn't know it was kidney stones at the time. Just knew I was in the most pain I'd ever been in. She got pissed because you're not paying attention to me. Seriously, I'm in an emergency room hooked up to an IV with painkillers flowing through me. At this point, I'm half conscious because of the morphine and apparently I'm a jerk for not paying attention to her. It came to a head when I asked her to get a nurse because something didn't feel right. They had gave me something I was allergic to and I was starting to have an allergic reaction. She said, fine, I'll just be your babysitter. At that point, I just told her to go home, that her negativity was making me feel worse. She got all pissy, threw a fit and left in a rage. Next day, I didn't even call her for a ride back home when I got out of the hospital. I called my aunt and had her drive me home. The moment I got home, I started packing my stuff. If you have to be the center of attention and can't feel any empathy whatsoever while I'm in the emergency room, you're a garbage human I don't want anything to do with. <gasps> I'm so glad he realized that early, you know? Like imagine staying with them for a longer time and then realizing this is what they are. You know that saying? What's that saying? If someone sticks with you while you're in like your worst situation and they still care about you and they're nice to you and everything, you know that's the one, you know? But if this is what they are like... Oh. Huh. When I was nearly robbed, before the story came out, she said, I didn't know that your great-great-grandparents' medals were stolen. She hired two guys to rob me because I told her my brother was having a serious asthma attack and I'll be at the hospital. She wanted to show me that she found the medals. Huh? Wait, what do you mean? Like she wanted 
him to be grateful for something that she caused. So she's going to make him be frustrated and then be like, look, I found them. Now you can be happy again. Thanks to me. That kind of thing. Oh my gosh. It's just like faking saving someone, right? But you cause that, you know? Like you hire someone to rob your crush or something and then you beat those bad guys up and be like, yeah, I did that. <laughs> that kind of thing. Okay, that kind of sounds creepy, honestly. Like, what was she trying to get at? Wait, she wanted to get the attention from him or what? This is confusing me. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.